Hey guys, so today we're going to be using Fusion 360 to draw our control panel faceplate. And this will be mounted to the side of the top uh, touch screen monitor. And I'll have my power on button, my E stop button, uh, a spindle lockout but, uh, switch, uh, a switch to disable my coolant, and a switch to turn on the computer and also a accessory jack for a touch probe or touch plate later on. So let's get started. So like I said I'm in Fusion 360 here and it's just a simple plate. So I'm going to go to sketch. We're going to start our sketch. I'm going to be using the rectangle here and this will be uh, nine inches hit tab and it'll tab up to the next box uh, and this will be 3.5 inches nine inches 3.5 inner okay so now we have our box And then next we want to draw three circles for our uh, push buttons and these circles are 23 millimeters which is 0 0.906 inches. Now I need three of them so the easy way to do that is do this rectangular pattern. So I'm going to click it, select my circle, select this arrow here, and it already has the number three in there. And I'll just stretch this out and evenly space me three buttons there. That looks pretty good. all right we'll go with that I'm also going to need two rectangles for my rocker switches so I'll select center rectangle and it is 11 millimeters tall and 28 millimeters wide and I'm going to need two of those so I'll go back up here select rectangular pattern I'm going to drag a window across here and select these I need uh, two of them and I need them in this direction here and I'll drag two out about an inch I guess that looks pretty good and let's see I going to get rid of these dimensions here that one but let's get rid of that one because it's kind of in the way all right and we'll if we want to read dimension it we could read dimension it. okay so I want to move this around because these are Move that up a little bit. Give me some room. Okay, that looks pretty good. Moved it up about 40 thousandths. Okay. So 
to a rat and I need another circle right here for my accessory jack and that is uh, 16 millimeters okay it looks pretty good now we need to label everything so select text we'll go right here and we'll type in power it's 0.394 inches tall we're going to make that italic and I like to use Plantia Platia font you can use whatever font you prefer that looks good there select OK and right click repeat text right here and this will be our spindle type in spindle italicize and select our font once again and then we'll kind of just center that up there we go right click repeat text this is our emergency stop e stop italicize Select our font, get it in the right spot here, okay looks pretty good, select OK, right click repeat text, this is our coolant, Sorry about that. All right, our coolant, italicize, select font, let's get it centered up. Looks pretty good. Let's go down here. This will be ACC for accessory italicize select our font okay looks good and the last one here our coolant I mean our computer italicize Select our font. Okay. Move that over. Okay. All right. That looks pretty good. Looks a little crowded right there. Let me go back, right click, edit sketch. Let me, uh, see this little box with the four dots? Let me click on that, double click on that, and then we can stretch these out a little bit. Give it a little more space. We can. Move this box here. A little bit. Maybe only ten thousandths instead of twenty. How about that? Okay. Double click this. We can move our font, our uh, text. Okay. Move this text down a little bit. 
All right, we'll see how that looks. All right, much better, I think. Much better. All right. Okay, stop. Oh, one more thing. Right click, edit sketch. Okay, I need to put some holes to mount it. So, center hole. Put a hole right here. Uh, 0.125. And I want to do a pattern. So I'll select the hole. And I want to go two holes in this direction over to about right here and three holes in this direction that looks good right there And it's that simple, you got three holes. Okay. We're going to stop sketch. I'm going to go up to modify, press pull. Select the faceplate here. And it's 40 thousandths of an inch thick. There we go. Select OK. And then let's see, press pull. Okay, can't do it. Okay. Alright, so there we have our face plate all done, and now we just need to uh, go over to our cam and set that up. Now I've already drew this face plate. You can see here, and I've already got the cam set up for it. So what I did was um, two setups because my meal only allows me to do half of it at a time. So in the first setup, I'm using the center and this line right here as my zero point. Then I'm drilling wrong one. Excuse me. I'm drilling these four holes here. And then I'm going to contour the coolant, the ACC, and the computer, and then engrave them. And then once I, that setup's done, then I'll move over, and I'm actually using this top corner as my zero. And then I'll drill these two top holes, contour the three circles for the buttons, and engrave it. Uh, this is just a straightforward uh, faceplate. And... I ran that on the X2, so let's take a look at that. All right, well, I've got my three by nine inch sheet of aluminum sheet metal uh, using the same piece of plywood that I've used for just about everything. Um, it's just easier to uh, just screw the sheet metal down to the plywood. I've got my uh, I'm going, going to have to do this in two setups, so we'll do the bottom half and the top half. I've got the G-code loaded in the Mach 3, and uh, we'll get started. Holes board. Um, I 
can shoot a couple screws in here to help hold this down if I need to, but actually I think it's going to be just fine. All right, so let's change the tool. I'm going to be using a going to be using a eighth inch four fluid emule. All right, we finished that up, and now I'm just going to move the plywood down uh, and set up for our next run. All right, Let's see what she looks like. All right, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna get it clamped up and let's take a look. So here's the finished control panel. I still need to get a push button. Uh, to start it, but I have my spindle lock. We'll lock the spindle out when I'm not using it. Uh, my e stop, and I have my two rocker switches to enable the coolant and turn the computer on. And then I have an accessory port, uh, and this is just a DIN connector. And this will be for a probe or a touch plate down the line just plugs in like that now this whole panel will mount on the side of my touch screen monitor and it'll be on a swivel somewhere so now that we have all this complete in our switches now we can really start wiring our panel and then the next video will start with 110 volts and we'll bring that into the panel and start actually wiring so thanks for watching the video Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.